All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechach, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone. The salutation, much love, Yaakim out there pushing out his word, truth, and sincerity. His brother's here from Tampa. I'm the brother Ash. I'm at Gala. Quam. And uh, we just got to do a quick in transit video as well as an edifying unto the hopeful elect out there. And uh, we're just going to speak on, uh, you know, the topic of Yahweh Shai is coming back. And it's, and it's soon, you know, sooner than later. You know, it's, it's nigh at hand, man. And the, the reason we can boldly tell you that is because what? He gave his disciples signs of the times, all right, of when he was going to return. And what would, what would be happening on the earth right before he returned? Go ahead. Con, this is uh, Second Genesis 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest the part of the signs past, then shalt thou know, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which yeah. he have made. So what, what he's saying is when, when you see these signs, all right, these woes, whoa, <laughs> when you see these things happening, you know that this is the same time that the Lord said he's going to start to visit the earth. Because the Lord is going to start to visit the earth right before his return. All right. And, you know, uh, um, in Isaiah 66 and 15, it say the Lord, you know, Yahweh is going to come with great fire and fury. The Lord himself is not going to come. Who's going to come in instead, though? It come in his name, Yahweh Shai. So when it says that you, you're going to uh, see him start to visit, begin to visit the earth, man. Yahweh Shai is, is, is uh, Yahweh. All right. Our heavenly father, that's his, that's his man. You know, that he does, he executes everything for the Lord, for the heavenly father, man. The Lord ain't coming down here to, to, to plead with you, you mortal, you mortals, you mere mortals, man, you know. And that's why he has the prophets. He sent out his prophets. The first thing he does before his return, ushering his, his return, he sends forth his servants, the prophets, to tell you and warn you. To you know, remind you that the Lord is in the heavens. And who you know? was the greatest prophet? Yeah, was Shai, exactly. You, know? you dropped it or you got something? No, I got something else. This is uh, uh, Isaiah, all right, uh, chapter 13. You got something else? I mean, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. All right. No, 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 go ahead. Got got it. It. Got, this, this is a lot of meat on it. All right. This is, uh, yeah. this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, us to slack is suffering to usward. To usward, he's long suffering to us, to usward, man. Hey, to the body, man. Yeah. That's what the Lord ain't long suffering to two thirds. That's why he gonna kill him. Go ahead. God. Uh, not willing that any man slack that any should perish. Any should perish of what? I, that's clearly not talking about two thirds, is it? Because they're gonna perish. Go ahead. But that all should come to repentance. The all who, man? The one third. That's he that's heavy, man. <laughs> yep. You need to be thankful to know this truth and, and continue where it comes to death. Yep. You know? Uh, hey, if I may ask, uh, back to Brother Ashok, to, you know, um, the scriptures say as great as his, ma uh, his wrath, as great as his yep. mercy. Mm -hmm. But who, his, his wrath is upon who? Sinners, man. Okay, and, and what is that? The two thirds of our people? other nations okay but it, then it said as great as his mercy who is his mercy unto his elect you know and that's that's the significance of Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai not only did he die for the go ahead no no you got it you got yeah, it yeah I was going to say just real quick not only did Yahweh Shai die for the whole nation of Israel but the significance of the nation of Israel was for the elect man the Israel of the most high the Israel of the most high Galatians 6 yeah. 16 yeah yeah, the world, the world within the world. Yeah, go ahead, you got it. Yeah. Go ahead, Kanye. I got some real quick. Uh, Revelation seven is going into the Lord's long suffering toward usward. He's talking about the elect. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Revelation seven, and I'll start at verse two. And I saw another angel descending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So but the long-suffering part, you know, the Lord has to seal his elect. That's why this place is being preserved 
you know, it's, it's, it's being held up together because the Lord's elect has to be sealed. And once the Lord's elect is sealed, then he's going to destroy everything else that's around here. Okay. Going into the Lord's having mercy upon his elect, not two thirds, not the, the, the heathen for damn sure. Yeah, Which they're counting, yeah. two thirds is counting the same yeah, exactly. anyways. Yeah. Counts them as a, a public and their heathen. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the Lord is long suffering because he's, he wants to save his his, his people, being the yeah. Israel of Israel. Hey, the scriptures say um, uh, grace and mercy, wisdom of Solomon, third chapter, fifth verse. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he have care for his elect, man. All right? So the Lord only care about his elect, man. All these souls on the planet Earth, okay, all these nations, they're giving them unto the, okay. uh, the elect, man. Okay. Well, if I, if I may say this, he, he cares, all, he, you know, most high, he, you know, he loves Israel. Don't get it, don't get it wrong. Right. Don't get it. He, he, he really, he, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship with the two-thirds, but he loves them. Yeah. But what? He loves the one third beginning with the elect even more because what? They're going to obey him. Yep. You know? They're going to come back unto him. Yep. Okay. Hey, I got an etymology of the word seal here. Uh, to, to the point, it says, um, it says, uh, uh, seal, it says seal on the letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which would be like a, a, a stamp, you know? Yeah. And if, if, if that yeah. stamp is broken yeah. or yeah. that seal is broken, that right. means somebody tampered with it. That's right. And what's the letter? Letter is the book. Yep, that's that's why Revelation the fifth chapter says what? Uh, through the, the the book was uh, open, yep. okay, through Yahweh's blood, man, okay, to make us those nations of kings and priests, man, okay. So we're actually we're actually going through that process, man, of of, of the elect being made up, okay, and being separated from the whole nation of Israel, man. You know, and that's a beautiful thing, man, to be separated from niggas, you know, separated from uh. uh uh, 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 being a poverty, uh, poverty, man. Hey, well, you know? hey, well, Lord's well, we know, man. We're separated from the, the, the chosen people, the best on the planet. Yeah. We're the best of the best. <laughs> Simple way to put it, you know. Yeah. The best of the best, because all Israel is better. You see these two thirds playing basketball on TV. Those are two thirds, man, yeah. and we're better than them. <laughs> Picture that. That's kind of eight. I'm just going to say, uh, uh, back the brother up, man, Deuteronomy 76, man. The Lord said, I have chosen it to be a, a special people unto himself, a peculiar nation. And, and the brother said something uh, uh, beautiful, man. You know, we're going to be a, a peculiar uh, uh, elect, you know? Okay, because that's what you have to die for, man. You know, and, hey, hey Kai, if, if yeah, Israel's yeah, the soul of the earth, what, what is the elect, man? Yeah, that's right. It's special. That's special. That yeah, that's salt, that pink man. Himalayan yeah, salt right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. What do you say? That pink Himalayan salt, man. Okay, that a the fine, a the fine, precious. Okay, uh, 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 jewels. Yeah, if, if Israel, man. let's no. say Israel, be considered as some fine wine. Yeah, we we that aged wine, uh, you know. Right from the beginning. Hundreds man. of hundreds yep. of years old, you know. Yep. From the beginning, exactly. You know, this was all predestined. You know, Ephesians chapter one. That's yeah. right, man. That's right. You got it. Uh, I mean, I kind of got pulled up. So I'm not well, he, I got some. Yeah, some. Yeah, 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 This is Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 It says For the most high is the righteous To forget your work In labor of love Right? And whose labor of love is that man? He elect Okay, actually laboring Because the Lord said Which we brought out in St. Matthew 24 Him that is uh, The Lord said uh, uh, Blessed is he whom the Lord shall find so doing yeah. What are we doing? We're feeding the flock man. Feeding the flock with what? Edification Exhortation, okay, and these are the things that you have to uh, 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 do, okay, all right, to be and partake of the body, man. And the Lord is not going to forget that, man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. here it is, you got niggas, okay, all right, coming in in the last hour, okay, because they see the RFID chip is here, they see the missiles is here, and and, and bro, and that's why the, the scriptures are repetitive, bro. 
because I just said the same thing that I said on the video. You know, I'm saying the same thing, bro. Well, the Lord don't change. <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't change. Hey, the Lord don't change. Malachi 3 and 6, right? That's the precept you just quoted. The Lord don't change, right? So guess what? Niggas are now seeing the, uh, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. The government thermonuclear missiles is here, okay, all hell breaking loose, and now what, they trying to come into the fold, okay, but guess what, the Lord is not going to uh, uh, forget the work of those men that actually believed in him, man, and that's the point of this ministry, man, is the, the, the faith that you have us me outside was dealing with you, man, that's who's going to be saved, okay, when you go into wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, those that were saved, okay, uh, all right, they were saved by the, by the, by the grace and the mercy of Yahweh Shemi Al-Shai, man. Because they stood upon their uh, feet yeah. stiffly, okay? They, 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 they did the works. They actually applied the scriptures, man. Well, God, that's why, this, you know? this, that's why uh, that priest said the brother had brought out in Revelation, the elder of Kazakh. Uh, he cometh with his reward because what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, was, you got the spirit it? I have, kind of, kind of oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll start at verse 11. Was, Revelation 22. In verse 11, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Yeah, that's the two thirds, man. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's pretty much the synopsis of the fuck him. You know? And that's why you have to be in the spirit. Because those same two thirds can be your household. Yeah, exactly. They can be your loved ones. They can be a stomach block unto you. That's right. But you have to, you got to let go of the flesh and, and cleave into the spirit. Cleave, and that's the importance of the brotherhood, man. Cleave unto the brotherhood, man. Cleave unto the man that's around you because it's not the man that you cleave unto. It's the spirit of Yahweh that you cleave that's unto, in them. man. That's in them. That's in them. That's right. And that's the righteousness, man. Okay? That's the righteousness of the reward that I was reading about, man. You know? In uh, Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Because it said, the Lord shall not forget thy work. But what is the works? The Lord said, labor not love, despite, right, the labor of love, man. Not despising the little ones. Hey, wait, what, what, what no. is that labor? Yeah, I wish I told Peter, if you love me, feed, feed my them. sheep. Feed hey. my sheep. That's right. That's what the labor of love is. If you love right. the Lord, if you love Yahweh Shema Shai, yeah. then do what he told you to do. Right. Yeah. Point is, blank period. Right, which is continuing in the prophets, man. Yeah. And now, Constantly in the prophets. And now, now it being so much more in his absence. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's not How here. Much more yeah. his, you yeah. know, yeah. so yeah. imagine exactly. more when it's on his, right. on his return. And that's why Apostle Paul said, be followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. That's why he had a great testimony Ishmael. written in uh, uh, the, the New Testament, man. Because he did the things that Yahweh Shai would do. Okay? Which was feed the flock, man. Okay? Okay? And, and that's what we're doing, man. You got it? Got it. Uh, finishes up Revelation 22 and 11. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according to his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega. And his reward is with him. And he's going to give everybody according. Whether your works are good or evil, you're going to get a reward, all right? Because who's going to bring it? The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. God. The one that was given all judgment, you know? That's what he's saying. Because yeah. hey, you, have, you have this thing called, you have this thing called for a king. You have the king's hand. There's a thing called the king's hand, which he pretty much executes everything for the king. That's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the king of kings, but Yahweh is, you know, yeah. they're, they're really, you know, king doesn't even fit, you know, Yahweh. That he's far above a king, yeah. but you know, that, but that, that, you know, using that, uh, analogy. that reference, yeah, that, that analogy, analogy, that's the king's hand, Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. He does any, he does everything and anything that Yahweh tells him to do. He's the, to back you up, he's the word that issue out of the mouth of the Most High. Man. That's right. You know, so he's the right hand. You know. Uh, uh, Revelation twenty-two and thirteen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the, the end. Beginning and the end, the first and the last. Yeah, the first and the last. Okay, and the author of and the finisher of our faith. Yeah. You know, and that's who's going to show you guys. All right, who's the Lord? Who the Lord is dealing with? Going to Second Exodus six and ten. Okay. Because a lot of, and, you know, and, and, and to be honest, man, a lot of these guys come out the rule works, okay, because they know that the prophecy is, is real this whole time. Oh, this old plow. This old plow. Oh, this, he's an old plow. He's still, 
But bro, when you was, he's an old plow, but his his hand's still on the plow though, bro. Yeah, but yeah, what they, you where you at though? Them guys, yeah, nope. they just looking for for because they see people are making money out of this thing, yep. you know. They're just looking for some kind of income, <laughs> really, that's, at the end of the day. Adjustment. Yeah, cause you, yep. that's why you how it's like got so mad when he went into the temple. All right, it's supposed to be the holy place. You know, and they started throwing tables over, beating animals, beating people. You know, just imagine that, man. A big black man. <laughs> yep. Whipping so, the hell out of everybody in that place, man. You know, but ultimately, the the, the, the moral of the story is, man, your Howard Shai is about to return. And if you think he was mad when he was whipping niggas in the temple, wait till he returns. Kind of you're, gonna, you're really going to see some anger. All right, the fear of the Lord is going to be upon him. I'm talking about the fear of Yahweh. All right, it's going to be upon your house side and then his men with him, all right? Because what? Like, uh, you saw the, the, an example of King David, how King David would lead the charge, but how much more the king of kings? So he's going to be leading the charge and his men with him. Okay. He's going to be doing the, the, the most killing. That's okay. why his, his garment's going to be uh, 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 red, Turn all right? Blood. Yep. Yeah, I got that precept. Uh, Isaiah 6, 3 and 4. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeem is come. All right, and that's the point, man. Vengeance is in the is, is in the heart of Yahweh. Watch me, All right, look at look at what Yahweh side had to go through, man, for the whole nation of Israel, man. So you damn right, Yahweh side coming back, man. Yeah, he's mad as hell, man. Yeah, bro, bro. He did all this. He he he, he died. Yeah, There's bro. no greater love than you die for your friends, right? Yeah. And then look look how they look how they treated him, man. Yeah. Spit on him. Kind of you know, it was a sheep. What is it? A sheep. A sheep. Yeah. You know. Docile. Right. Docile, man. That's why he. That's why he told. That's why he said, "Uh, uh be harmless as a, a be wise as a serpent is harmless as a dove." Because he was wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove, man. Yeah. Having all the power, he he didn't do nothing. You know. Okay. But when he, you best believe when he come back, he letting all he giving he giving everybody the smoke that's except right. for his elect. That's right, bro. Hey, bro, that, bro, that's heavy, bro. Everybody getting smoked. Cause everybody that is proud, shut <laughs> you up, bro. Okay, it's gonna be like oh, uh, uh, episode of Oprah. You get the smoke. You get the smoke. Yeah. Everybody gets the smoke. <laughs> I got a precept. Okay, okay, and we'll close it out on that. All right, come. Revelations one uh, verse seven, and it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds." Mm -hmm. And they're not talking about no rain clouds, man, like we see right now. We're talking about the chariots of the Lord. Go ahead. Cunt. Behold, he coming through clouds, and every eye shall see him. Mm -hmm. yes. And they also which pierced him. So even the the centurions yep. that pierced him. Cunt. And it reads, and all kindreds nice. of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. Right? And it's not talking about regular clouds, but that's the angels coming from the heavens, man. Yeah. You can read that in days and twelve chapter the first well, verse. Well, get get real quick for close out. Uh, read that again, and then Bible should get Acts chapter one. All right, all right. <laughs> See what the angels said about them clouds. Okay. Uh, Revelations one verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also, and, and that's a cut too, man. You know those men that despise the, the men of the Lord. You actually going to see the Lord because you don't believe in Him. Yeah. You know, and that go back to uh, you remember uh, the the video uh, a couple months ago, uh, Elder uh, Apostle Tahar, he was walking back and he had a, a T man following him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the angels. That's when the vocab came Yeah, yeah, you remember the angels was like it was like 30, 40 yeah, lights. You know? them. Yeah. Right. Okay, now, and that's the Lord showing you that the Lord is with these men. Man. That's a scary thing, bro. But, but you people are going to understand the significance of it when you're when you uh, 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 after death by pain. Okay, that's why I read, "Though he coming through clouds, every eye shall see him." They also which pierced him. Yep. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, Amen. Yeah. So they gonna, people are going to be welling when they see this, the sight of the chariots, man. Because what? That's the that's the saint. Well, now you get that the yeah. axe. So Acts chapter 1, start at verse, uh, verse 9. Yeah. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay. Yep. The same cloud. What is that cloud? It's not talking about actual clouds. Yeah. It's talking about... This, this, is, he, he, this is a dragon.
Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. Right. They be taking on the form of the clouds. God. In Acts chapter 1, verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. And angels, but... Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Ye men of Galilee, which were the disciples, the twelve, because they were all from Galilee, but... The same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in the in like manner as yeah. ye have seen him go in, go into heaven. That's right. That's that's the point. The same way he left us, the same way he coming back in the clouds, in the chariots. All right. So that's why there's more and more chariot sightings, man, because the Lord's gonna make his return real soon, man. We know we got a prophecies that, that are left. Bug out. But we know that we 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 close to the Lord returning. Breaking them skies and returning because what the, the the prophecies are that are taking place they're not even prophecy no more they're just life okay? yeah. but what you know he gonna return the same way he left and he left in great glory all right in the chariot man imagine that seeing that sight and guess what it's gonna be even worse when he it's gonna be even beautiful i say that for us anyway yeah. when he returns you know right is ours that is great to tell you, he's going to come with all power, and he's going to come with his power and glory. And you're going to, I, I believe it's the word power, it, it's talking about his host. That's why every eye shall see him, because the skies are going to be filled with chariots, man. All right? So, hey, that's the time we're living in. So with that, Lord's world is edifying and exhorting unto the hopeful elect. Yahweh Shai's return is nigh at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. With that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukhak, Wadash. Shalom. Shalom.